Cal Isaacs, also known as I Wear the Crowns on Twitter or Knives Chow. So um, we are on uh, the Python lesson four, coding lesson four in Minecraft Education Edition in the Computer Science Subject Kit. And uh, so this is lesson four, activity three. And what we've been tasked to do is we're going to help the data scientist work with um, these cats in the room. So data scientists is trying to make three pieces of code that will sort the cat's names. Um, it will make it easier for the veterinarians to keep track of which cat is which. However, the names that he or she gets in the chat don't seem to be the correct ones. Can you help me by writing code for three different cases? Of course. So what I'm going to do is look at the cats. Um, and we're going to launch Code Builder by tapping C, and we're going to expand the screen. So the first item, wait, where am I? Oh, I'm in, I should be in uh, activity one. So set the last name in the list of the cat names to now equal the string shadow. Change the value inside say command so that it displays the last name in the list, and then press select a cat button on um, in that board in the room. Okay, so we are going to remember um, hashtags in Python, comment out that line so the computer does not recognize that as code. And then also remember, if you're like me, step one, step two, step three, I know they're not aligned. They're driving me nuts, but it helps keep um, things a little organized or your tasks a little bit more better organized. OK, so what we need to do is we need to change the last name in this array of cat names or list of cat names, we need to change Snowy to Shadow. Okay, so um, one of the things that I would think to do is we could use what we um, used before, like we could say cat names, that's the list name. Um, we could use a method and um, say pop. So take off the last name, so pop index number five. Okay. And then what we can do is maybe say cat name, so back to the list name, and then append with a new name shadow. So um, we're going to put that in there. And um, let's see if that works. So we're going to go ahead and shrink down the window so that we can see the compile button. For me, I have a little picture in picture of myself in the bottom right, so it's covering this uh, play button. I'm going to hit play. And it's going to say, whoops, we could not run the project. So um, there's another thing that it wants to do. I'm going to just go ahead and put this in here as well. Oh, I did it. You know, what was the difference? So shadow, OK, shadow is a string. And I, that's a clue up here. So it now equals the string shadow. So I just put text in there. And the computer doesn't recognize text as anything. If it's a string, you need to surround it with quotes. So that's what that is, OK? Um, so we successfully, we got it correct. We got it to say shadow. So now let's go back over here. And what we could do is we could say um, right click to select a cat. But let's also look at the hint, OK? Um, so that's one thing, shadow. And then this, um, here's the other hint. So you also, OK? You can also manipulate an array or a list by um, changing the value, going even easier. So we took two steps here. We used pop from earlier. That pops off whichever um, item in the array we want by designating the index. So cat names.pop5 in parentheses pops off the last name. And then we did uh, cat names append uh, shadow in string. In, uh, surrounded by quotes to indicate that's a string. Uh, so that worked. I think it's just looking for it to say shadow. So that worked. But now notice that we also have this other way that we can do it. We can say um, change a value in a list, use list name, positional value, and then just give it something new. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going um, I'm going to comment this out uh, by using the hashtag. And actually, I will use the method Others are using, oh, I wonder, can I tab this? Ah, too many. Step one, OK, tab. Yes, I can. So I'm going to comment this out. So this is uh, one way of doing it. OK, and I'll do that little space. And I will also add another 
comment here. One way. Ah, I could even say one way to skin a cat, but we don't want to say that. All right, but I did. Okay, so one uh, one way to change the name. Oh, cha how about this? Change the name using pop and a pen. Um, change the cat name using pop and append methods. Okay, so we're applying what we learned in the last lesson. And then I'm going to skip a line. I'm going to say change. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Change the name. I'm going to run out of my 10 minutes uh, using, using, uh, I don't know what this is called. List name positional value. Okay. Change list name using by uh, positional value. I don't know. Okay. So now here we go back to this. And this will be list name again, cat names, positional value. We want five to be different. Whoops. And I did the um, arrays are surrounded by the square brackets. If you do uh, shift square bracket, which is what I did, you'll get a curly bracket. So we want to change the item or element in index five to shadow. Again, we need to use our quotes to indicate that it's a string. So let's try that again. We'll hit play to compile the code. We're going to look. There it is. Top left, it says shadow. And because we did it right, we're going to come over here and select the cat by right clicking the button. Yay, we did it. We did it. We